This is Naina Curley from Wamda. I'm chatting here with Farah Sahar of Yan Safar, a Palestine-based hotel booking portal. Farah, how are you? Hi, Naina. I'm good. Are you sitting in your office? Yeah. <laughs> Great. So let's chat about Yam Safar. Uh, how did you come up with the idea? When did you start building it? And how long did it take you until you launched? Sure. Um, so we first came up with the idea in uh, late June in 2011, so uh, like a bit more than a year ago. Um, and initially, we wanted to call it Sinai Express, and the idea was about just bringing people uh, into Sinai and getting deals that are specialized uh, to the Sinai trip, so Sharm el-Sheikh, Taba, uh, these spots. And then, you know, things obviously weren't going very well with uh, uh, tourism and the Egyptian Revolution. Uh, so we kind of pivoted and uh, we started adding different destinations. So we added Jordan and, uh, you know, Cairo, uh, Beirut, different destinations in uh, Lebanon and Palestinian hotels. And we started targeting uh, more and more people from more and more countries. Uh, so it's changed quite a lot, and uh, we're finally at a place where we believe we can, uh, we're ready to scale. Um, and yeah, that's it. We, we, we launched a beta uh, version just in uh, January. So we've been online for a couple of months now. It's been going great. So your big sell is that you get lower prices than anyone else. How do you do that? Um, so as opposed to other uh, travel sites, what we do is we partner with the hotels directly. Uh, we don't source uh, from any aggregator or uh, something. There's something that's called a global distribution system, basically that most um, OTAs that you see around hook onto and, and pull prices from there. What we do is we, we integrate with the hotels directly and we keep our margins low. Uh, so we have a low price guarantee on all, on all the uh, hotels that are on offer. Uh, which is a huge added value uh, to the end user, as a, also uh, apart from having the content in Arabic and, and something that, that they can actually relate to. I see. And how have you seen the growth of the site since you launched? Uh, what is your market like? Um, our market initially was uh, Palestinians living in the in the within the forty eight uh, borders. Um, so they were very uh, they're more tech savvy and they're the credit our penetration rate is higher there. They're used to making online purchases. Uh, so that was a great uh, pilot market for us initially. Uh, and then we started expanding into other uh, geographies. We did a little uh, business in the West Bank. Uh, and we're, uh, we're very close to expanding into Jordan as well in terms of customer acquisition. Uh, um, what really helped us actually uh, acquire customers at the beginning was that we were uh, bubbling uh, tickets for popular events in the region with hotel space. So uh, if there's a, a cool concert, you know, in Amman or in Ramallah or wherever, we would bundle the ticket for the concert, the hotel stay for somebody that's coming from out of the city. And uh, we could really save a lot of money because we get uh, um, group rates uh, in the hotels and that, that individual can, can get the group rate and uh, a ticket event in the same uh, purchase. So that was a really good marketing uh, trick for us. Are you doing that in Jordan and Lebanon as well? We did. We did. Uh, we did. We did so recently we partnered with uh, Barasi for that. Uh, we did Mashru Al Layla in Jordan. Uh, we did uh, lots of events here in Palestine. Uh, we haven't done any events in Lebanon yet. We only offer hotels, but uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Is it tough to operate out of Ramallah? Um, it is. It's not. <laughs> we do face that. It's not you know your normal uh, uh, place to have a start up. Uh, um, there are a lot of benefits, obviously, also associated with that. People are um, you know because of the nature of of a lifestyle here, people are naturally uh, problem solvers. I think, but you need to uh, kind of take the day to day problem solving uh, skills that they have and build it into uh, you know it's actually something that's useful uh, in business. So um, it's very exciting, you know, it's a very dynamic environment. Uh, Ramallah is generally a very young city. Um, it's very active. But, uh, yeah, we do have our challenges. Um, you know, I can tell you from here until tomorrow about the challenges that we have from the operation, but uh, we're, we're overcoming them. So. And have you found support in the ecosystem there? Um, our ecosystem? 
is still uh, slightly undeveloped, but uh, uh, throughout the past year, I've seen a lot of uh, developments happen. Uh, we have a venture capital fund now here, so that uh, so that's encouraging a lot of people to, to actually uh, do something about their ideas and build teams and start startups. So the progress over the past year has been amazing, uh, and I've seen that. Um, but still, I think we have a lot of work to do in terms of the ecosystem. Um, probably also the, the the government needs to play a role. It's not playing uh, a role. I think you know to build a strong ecosystem, you need the, the infrastructure, and you can't really build the infrastructure without the government uh, supporting it. So there's still a lot to be done. Absolutely. Um, Faris, what do you think, if you can point to any factors, what do you, which factors do you think have allowed you to succeed thus far to the degree that you have? Um, and what would you advise another entrepreneur starting up? Um, you know, one of the things that I've seen is, is that, as I said, you know, our idea changed a lot from uh, launch until what we have today. Uh, a lot of people start a startup and they think that they have, you know, the, the kick-ass idea um, but but really the thing that you need is the kick-ass team because your idea is going to change uh, inevitably. You're going to pivot, you know, and uh, uh, you, you need the, you, you know, to have the right team is something that's very important. Um, a team with the right culture as well, so people who, who kind of share the, the long, the you know, the far vision, not necessarily, uh, you know, people that are going to argue about uh, things that are, that have to be done and that have to be done in the short term. Um, other things, you know, other advice that I can give, I don't know, we've been on, we've been on online for a year now, so I can't really uh, give you that, uh, we still have a long way to go. Uh, um, but I, I guess a big part of it is, is uh, having the awareness of, of the client side, especially if you're an e-commerce uh, startup, so, uh, you know, be able to put yourself in the consumer side and really add value to people, because that's what they care about, if they're not going to buy your product. Uh, because you're a Palestinian or Arab startup or whatever, you need to, to add value. Uh, you know, either save them money or have a really nice uh, user experience for them. Uh, uh, so really try to add value and, and build a good team and you'll be fine. Absolutely makes sense. And I look forward to seeing you guys expand. And, you know, if you bring event more event bundles to Beirut, it'll be very cool to see. Um, thank you so much for chatting with Wamda. Thank you. Thank you for having me.